Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. Our lips are very unique and special in more than one way. They're sensitive and fragile. They have many sensory nerves in them as well. Now everyone wants their lips to look plump, smooth, and beautiful, as well as removing any of these smiling wrinkles or fine lines that you may have. Boy, if you can have that, I'm sure that you're going to be happy. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and hit that bell to get all future notifications for my upcoming videos to help you and your family. Well, in order to have healthy lips, there are several things that we have to be aware of. We need to make sure we take care of them because the skin on our lips is not the same as the skin on our body. And that's why millions of people worldwide experience those chapped lips. They become dry and flaking. They become sore. They can swell. They can even have little cracks in them and bleed. Those winter months can cause your lips to dry, as well as frequent sun exposure in the summer, which will also worsen that condition. And a chronic problem that I experienced that I never figured out in the past was licking my lips. The more I licked them, the drier they became. The enzymes from the saliva will make it worse. And there was another problem as well. It was in my toothpaste. It was sodium lauryl sulfate. This will dry out your lips. Many toothpastes, and check them, please, have this sodium lauryl sulfate in there that will make your lips worse. But if there's one important thing you gain from this video, that is to hydrate. Those lips need lots of water. And if you're dehydrated, that is the first area within your body you're going to experience those kind of symptoms. Now, as we age, our body produces less collagen. And collagen is the key matrix that makes up our skin, our lips. This is what gives us that plumped look, our skin, the elasticity, allowing those wrinkles to stay away. So, these particular exercises are going to make big changes to help the body produce more collagen and to get those lips plumped and to remove those fine lines around them. Now, there are several things that you can do to keep your lips healthy. You can cut open a vitamin E capsule and apply it right to your lips. This will help boost circulation and will help generate new cells making your lips softer. Aloe vera gel has many healing properties for the lips. It will help soothe it as well as help the lips look their best. There are many lip balms to choose from, but I do like coconut oil. This helps combat inflammation and it will help soothe and soften the skin. Honey is also a great moisturizer. It helps keep the lips hydrated. The one particular muscle that we're going to focus with is the orbicularis oris. That muscle surrounds the entire lips. There are other surrounding muscles that are also important. Our skin on our lips is actually 10 times drier than the skin on our body. It does not have those oil producing glands like the other parts of our body does. So therefore, it always feels more dry. Now, we're going to stimulate the areas around the lips to increase blood supply, increase collagen, to increase that change to the brain, to make those changes in your body to start to repair and heal. You're going to use coconut oil, some lip balm, or any other kind of moisturizer while doing this technique. Do not do it dry. Now make sure you wash your hands, use the first and second finger, and just start pinching the top of the lip back and forth. Do that for about 20 seconds. Then you'll go to the bottom lip. This is stimulating blood circulation, nutrition, stimulation to the brain, helping the body secrete its own collagen. And now I want you to do is you're going to take your two fingers 
and go around in little circles like this, right above the lip. Move it around. Little circular movements. Stimulate it. You'll do that 20 seconds on top, and you'll do 20 seconds below. Very, very good for you. It sounds elementary, but you're gonna feel a big difference. And now, we're going to keep our lips together. And I want you to grab as much of the lip as you can, above and below the top and bottom lip. And I want you just to do the same type of thing and stimulate them together, pushing down on each other like this. That's going to really stimulate the area. Now we're ready for our exercises. Now it's time to get rid of those fine lines around the lips by doing these specific isometric exercises. This is gonna help build collagen, as well as increase nourishment and circulation to those areas so you can get those great results. We're going to smile and blow a kiss. You're going to do this 10 times. It's going to look like this. Now when you do it, smile as wide as you can and blow your kiss as far out in front of you. Smile, blow that kiss far out, Really pucker up, do that 10 times. Now let's do a lip press with resistance. What we'll do here is we'll take our lips, we'll close them down together nice and tight. To know that we're doing it correctly, we're going to take our fingers and pull the outside of our lips outwards. We don't want to be able to accomplish that. As I hold my lips together like this, I'm gonna to try to pull my lips outwards as the muscles are going to resist it as we clamp down hard on our lips like this. You'll try pulling it apart for about three seconds. You'll do 10 repetitions of those. Now let's make a big O with our lips. And while doing so, take your fingers and touch around those muscles of those lips. You'll feel them contract. That is a great exercise to really get the body moving forward, to get rid of those wrinkles. It should look like this. Then you relax and you do it again. And really tighten them up when you make that O. You'll do 10 repetitions of those as well. I am confident that you're going to see great results. Take just a few minutes a day and do these exercises. Make sure you're eating a well-balanced diet getting your exercise, maintaining your stress levels, getting enough sleep, and you're going to see those fantastic results. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.